Hello, my name is Roger Dantuluri. In this video, we're going to dive into how to utilize the Flexible Payment Schedule feature, or FPS. How does the FPS feature work? The Flexible Payment Schedule feature allows the seller to set the number of units per dimension or the number of units per instance type offered as part of the contract and the payment terms for the contract. The FPS feature allows more flexibility with how the buyer is invoiced and an opportunity to preset the entitlements offered. How do I use FPS? In order to enable flexible payment schedule, the seller will need to select the checkbox that says enable fixed units and allow buyer to pay for this product in installments. Please note that for a seller to issue an FPS enabled private offer, the buyer's payer account that is targeted on the offer must be on invoicing terms with AWS. You can learn more about how a buyer can request to be on invoicing terms with AWS by clicking the link in the description below. In the offer creation page, the seller can set the dimensions or instance types that are offered as part of the private offer contract in the dimensions section. Here, the seller can choose buyer can click one or more options offered and input the different dimensions along with the quantity for each. The seller can click add dimension to include multiple dimensions or click create and add new dimension to create a custom dimension for this private offer. In the payment schedule section, the seller will be able to set how they would like the buyer to be invoiced by AWS. If the buyer needs to be invoiced upfront upon acceptance, the seller simply needs to enter the dollar amount and set the invoice date to the date they are creating the private offer. If the buyer needs to be invoiced at a later date, the seller can enter the dollar amount and set the invoice date of their choice. Finally, if the buyer needs to be invoiced in installments, the seller can enter multiple payment line items by clicking on add payment and entering the dollar amount and the invoice date for each payment. Thank you. If you have any further questions, please reach out to mpcustesk at amazon.com.